That's because scientists at the University of Newcastle here in Britain have now grown liver tissue. It is tiny and was made out of stem cells taken from the umbilical cord. The aim is to use it to test new drugs and to develop new treatments. From Newcastle, here's our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh. This is umbilical cord blood from a baby born in Newcastle this morning. Now, cord blood is rich in stem cells, the body's master cells. And what scientists here have done is they've grown those stem cells into chunks of liver tissue, a stepping stone towards the ultimate goal of creating artificial organs. So how was it done? Well, the stem cells were placed in this small bioreactor developed by the space agency NASA. It contains a chemical cocktail which coaxes the stem cells to turn into liver tissue. And the circular motion encourages them to grow in 3D, in lumps. And this is the result. These are not miniature livers. They're just a few millimeters across. But even small pieces of liver could be a vital research tool, initially in helping to develop safer medicines. We've produced uh, lumps of liver up to about the size of a 1p coin, although it, they were very crude, clearly. In the future, we hope to develop these forward to something which is large enough to do full drug testing on, and this will help us to develop much better drugs, which are more like drugs that the human body will be able to take without side effects. For charities which support liver research, it's a welcome development. I think it probably is 10 or 15 years in the making. But the interesting thing is that the liver has got a really great ability to regenerate itself. So the possibility of generating up from a one pence size piece of liver tissue to something greater, something the size of a rugby ball, which is what the size of the liver is, is quite an exciting prospect. Stem cell research is still in its infancy. The goal of creating artificial organs like livers is probably decades away, but scientists believe other clinical benefits could come much sooner. Fergus Walsh, BBC News, Newcastle.